Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. You know me, I've been pretty chaotic on this channel. I, I don't know, I just kind of post whenever I feel like it and whenever I have an idea of what I want to record. And for this case, I wanted to record a reaction video to this YouTuber called Anthony Rossinello, which is a dating coach, which is uh, has a lot of very valuable input to give. And I, uh, I don't know, I just kind of want to give a reaction to it because I thought that this concept was very interesting. So we're going to be reacting to his video uh, series that he started called First Date, where he takes YouTubers on a first date uh, with some random guy who isn't even really special, especially from YouTube, uh, and matches them. And then sets them on a date and gives advice and, uh, and tips and tricks and stuff while he's with them on the date uh, in post-production and stuff. So yeah, it's a really cool concept. I think it's very interesting because those people often have like a lot of trouble like meeting someone outside of their workspace. So, you know, like this is a great way for them to do that. So yeah, I am um, gonna go be reacting to that video uh, now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, at the end of the video, leave a like maybe. Let me know what you thought. If I should do another reaction to the next episode that he will be uploading, I don't know when, but when he does, I might do another reaction video on it if there's enough demand for it and if I feel like it. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the video. I've never like dated a guy or like been in a relationship or anything. Really? Yeah, it's my, is this my first date on this show? <laughs> Hi there, boys and girls. I'm Anthony, and today I'm going to set up YouTuber Tiana Renee on a date with somebody that I think matched all of her qualifications. She asked for basically Aaron Hull. Couldn't get Aaron Hull. This literally feels like <laughs> I wonder a why. YouTube version of The Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's name is Jason. He's 25. Ooh, He's gonna be Jason. A oh, wow, a look. Kind of looks like Logan Paul, or is that just me? I don't know. Thoughts? Okay, I feel like he might be too old for me. Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, this guy is named Alex, Alex. and he is Ooh. 20. 20. And actor, he musician. He's an actor, a musician, and he likes skating too. Oh. But he loves either. acting the most. Okay. Thoughts? Talk to me. He seems fun. Yeah. And he's 20, which is my age. So nice glasses. Like Wait, are good. you attracted to him? I'm not, he's not like my type looks wise, but like, I, if they have like a really good personality and I vibe with them, yeah. then like, it's fine. Let's to the next one. I mean, honestly, like what you just said, I mean, I kind of fully agree with that. Like, we all have our types, we all have our preferences and all things like that we like in a person. But at the end of the day, if at least they match so much to our physical preferences, in my experience, I don't know if this is the same case for everyone, probably not, v very likely not. Uh, but in my case, I don't know, like, even if they're not fully my type physically or whatever, like, if the emotional attraction is there, and if we just, like, vibe well on, like, the same wavelength, then, like, it just, it just goes, you know, it just works. So, yeah, I agree. Okay, so that is Ben. Ben, ben is also a skateboarder, oh. and he Ooh. now mm. runs his own <laughs> marketing video company. What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> A fucking like title cards coming up like fun fact. <laughs> uh, that, that's funny. That's funny. I, I appreciate that. Ooh. And he's 22. Ooh. 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 Thoughts speak to me. Well, I do like video. <laughs> As a YouTuber, I do like like video production, making videos. It's a good age. I like mm. the beanie yeah. tattoo. Mm. Yeah. So I'd say this one probably is you my. You like Benjamin? <laughs> yeah. Benjamin. I treat everyone the same. So like, I feel like maybe the reason I've never been in a relationship is because like, I if I see a cute guy, I'll already just. Yeah, that's a very good tip that Anthony always gives. It's very important that when you like someone, is to tell them or at least show them that you're actually like 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 them, and not just as a friend like. I don't know, like drop subtle hints, like, I don't know, like it's just a way of talking with them as well. It's always very complicated to explain these nuances of what they, what flirting is 
But I mean, for that, I guess you should check out his YouTube channel, you know? A subtle plug for Anthony. Treat them like my friend, and then yeah. I feel like I'm like broing them, and then I'm like, oh shoot, they probably think like I'm I'm a bro. That's probably why like they probably just think I want to be their friend. I don't know how to act with like someone like that. I want to like date them or whatever. I'm so bad at flirting. I, I don't know how to flirt. I really want to help women start saying, yo, I could take the lead. If I'm interested in him, I'm not gonna just like hope that he, you know, says yeah. something about me. She's late. That's that good shit. She's late. I don't. I don't mind. You know, I'm always late. I feel like if she, oh, hell yeah. showed up, up, let's, let's go. just be like, it's cool. That's cool, man. Let's get some coffee. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sorry, I'm late. I literally got. Yeah, cool. I, I had to stop and get water because I was like dying. He's literally right around the corner. Oh. There he is. Yeah. Go on over. Hey. Okay, so. What time? Tiana. Tiana. Yeah. What? Arm around her? Okay, already showing interest. Kind of. Yeah, mine is hella infected. I feel like it's boring. Oh, man's like... a walking legend. For the remainder of this video, hell I want yeah. you to watch how Ben is interacting with his environment at mm. all times. I'm going to talk about this a little bit more later on. Bye. Wow. So, Bye. what was like the last video you made? Um, I think, oh, it was my like shopping for my apartment because I just moved last week. So like I, That's dope. My, yeah, my I moved next... last week too. Oh yeah, really? Yeah, I really did. You know, if you could make anything, like, what would your first like film be about, or like, what I... kind of stories do you want to tell? I think I want to do like, like I really like like A24. Like I love A24. Okay, I want you to notice that, <laughs> Ooh, that face right there. If Tiana saw that, she would notice that she, in a way, passed the test. Ben was going. All right, let's. This right here, meme potential. People, take notes. Look at that face. There's so much potential there. See if this girl actually has a creative side or if she's just playing that role. Anyway, moving on. So like, I want to so like- good. So ridiculously good. Yeah, I love like indie films. So like, I feel like it'd be so like, me and my friends kind of have like the same like- the Same aesthetics like, yeah, same, same aesthetics and vibes. So like, kind of like mid nineties. Like I love the way that that movie was shot so and like the aesthetics. So, like, I don't want to do something mm -hmm. like that. The movie's like, iconic. I know, I love that movie. These notes. Yes, Anthony. Yes. So what, uh, what ethnicity are you? Oh, I'm Mexican. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm Mexican. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I like, I do speak Spanish. My mom never taught me. Same. Yo, have you ever surfed? What? Yeah. Really? I want to surf so, so bad, but like, I don't have the upper body strength for that and it's kind of scared. I'm not gonna lie, that shit's hard. Yeah, that's what I feel like. Like, it's hard. I, I don't think I have the balance for that. Honestly, one of the best feelings in the world. Damn. I'm not lying. I experience You're it. Notice right here how when Tiana is expressing herself, especially about things that she feels strongly about, she does not make eye contact. In fact, she doesn't make eye contact a lot. Tiana, I know you're watching this. Make more eye contact, not just for flirting, but just in terms of respecting Bats. the other person. Watch Bats. how Ben keeps working on making eye contact, but because he sees that Tiana is not making that much, he doesn't want to come off creepy by making too much eye contact, so he pulls away as well. Tiana, I want you to work on this. Bye-bye. You're literally <laughs> surfing a wave. Yeah, I like, know. When you catch it, it's like there's no feeling like that. Wow. But I'm not going to surf yeah. it, so. <laughs> Okay, so if I were to go on. I mean, I totally relate to that, like, honestly, like, whenever I'm talking to someone and, like, I like making eye contact now, I used to be really bad at that, but I've gotten a lot better at it. And, like, when someone is, like, not making eye contact, eye contact I'm, like, constantly, like, trying to look, like, trying to make eye contact, but I, I also at the same time feel like I don't want to be a fucking creep. <laughs> so it's this tough balance, and, like, I, yeah, I totally see, like, Ben, like, being like, oh, no, she doesn't want to, okay, okay, fair enough, I'll just keep fucking around. <laughs> On Spotify or Apple Music? Spotify. Okay, for big sure. win. Sure. I was dumb. like, if you use Apple Music, I'd be like, gotta go. If I were to go into your most recent, like, what would, like, what were like, a couple artists I would find? Uh, Mac Miller, for sure. Legend. I literally, like, he was my most played artist like the past two years. Like when I'm older. That transition yeah. though. I know. <laughs> that guy has so freedom. Cool. I love like, he, like older people who skate because you know they're chill. Like I'm like, you're so cool. So, are you attracted to him? Uh. Yeah, he's cute. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like. I don't know. I don't. I like to like hang out with people and like actually like know yeah. them for a long time before I yeah. like. But like, yeah, he's cute and like I like his style. Like, I don't want to like say something and they don't yeah. like me like that. So like, I'd yeah. rather just like play it safe and like 
Yeah. To be friends. Notice how when I press Tiana for whether she's attracted to Ben, she always seems to not give a definite answer. This is a way to avoid rejection. If you're not attracted to somebody, then you can't get rejected. That is not the way to go about it. You must take that jump. You must take that risk or you are never going to be with anybody. This is why Tiana said in the past, it always ends up in friendship. Later on, you're going to see how I encourage Tiana to show interest in Ben where she usually would not. You could show your yes. interest in him in a really, really small way and it won't make him, like he's not going to be like, ew, what are you doing? Ew. <laughs> you know, like yeah. he's just going to be like, cool, thanks, that's nice of you. But at the same time, he's going to go, oh, okay, like she's kind of interested. Are you into her, like attracted to her? Yeah, I think she's beautiful. She's yeah. funny. Yeah. There's lots of pressure because I'm on camera and it's like right here, but I would say, yeah, I would say I would, I would, I would go on a second date. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Buddha, what? <laughs> Pen what do you Penda. think she thinks of you? Mm, I don't really know. I don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nice. Uh, I don't know if that's bad. I just, yeah. you know, it's, it's chill. Like either, yeah. the outcome is, I'm not attached to any outcome. So I'm just here for a long ride. Let's say you guys hung out again another time, like, what would you want Penda. to do? Uh, We'd probably go skating. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty... She seems like she wants to skate and is interested in it. Mm. Let me get some food, some tacos. Big move. Oh, oh shit, so oh next shit. Time we hang out, we're gonna skate, yeah? Yeah, no, I'm gonna drop in and everything. Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right, you've already committed now, so when we do, I'm gonna hold, that, hold you to that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's back up. I want to show you something. No. <laughs> Ben may seem like he has no anxiety, but watch him here as he consciously prepares to ask Tiana out. Watch his face again really closely. Bro, I can feel that. <laughs> I can feel that inside of me deeply. Like that feeling of like you want to say something, but like you don't know how it's going to be taken. So you're just like constantly like looking around like inside of your head, just like repeating like say it, fucking say it, dude. Like can just say it just, just say it like what's what's can, what's the worst that can happen like what just say it like come on by the way that's not you guys notifications that's mine one second no wait wait turn off <laughs> okay anyway um i can so totally relate to that like there's so many times i've been like with girls or something and i'm like I wanted to like show interest and like give those little signs of interest in something, but you're just so nervous of like, how are they going to take it? Where's this going to lead? I also kind of have the same problem as Tiana where like, I will not try to like fully commit to something too quickly. Usually depending on the girl, but I mean, hey, most of the time I'll kind of do it like Tiana and like Anthony said, it's not a good way to do it because then it's just confusing and people and those girls, don't know if I'm actually interested in him or not. And this applies to boys, girls, anyone. Like, if you want to say something, just fucking say it. Because if you don't say it, it's going to stay in your head. You're going to be like, after that, like in your head, like, fuck, why didn't I say it? Come on, why should I should have said that? And like that feeling, like in my opinion, we should always avoid at all costs. Like, if it goes badly, it goes badly. It doesn't matter. Life goes on. We don't fucking die. You're gonna, you're gonna get through it. So yeah, words of wisdom. <laughs> gonna try to edit that in, but we'll see. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. Right here, he is consciously thinking about saying it he's getting the slightest bit of anxiety but instead mm. of falling into the anxiety and being overcome by it he simply just focuses on his purpose what he wants to do and then he does it so next time we hang out we're gonna skate yeah yeah no i'm gonna drop in and everything yeah. really yeah all right you've already committed now so when we do i'm gonna hold that hold you to that yeah no i will literally do it like i'm thinking about it right now i'm like all you do is just lean forward that's it all right we'll see I want one of the <laughs> little we'll see. Well placed, Ben. Good job.
Good job. These things are bad. Look at that thing. This thing is dope. Hey, that's just dope, bro. Like, where did you get that? Uh, they gave it to me. Oh, shit. I'm not on that level yet. Remember how earlier I told you how Ben is constantly interacting with his environment? This, whether he knows it or not, is a very attractive trait. It shows the people around you that you enjoy your reality, enjoy your life, and are used to acting confidently and positively with the people Ooh. around you. I don't know if he knows he's doing this. He might, <laughs> but it certainly sends a great message to Tiana. Moving on. I come from Germany. I mean, it's also a good way of like helping people. Like that little comment of on the bike, you don't know, might have made this guy's day. Or like if, I don't know, if someone's walking around with like a cool shirt or something, like I don't know, like Ben's shirt for example, like someone would like walk up to him and it would be like, hey, nice shirt, dude. Like, one, that would have been cool for Tiana in that situation, it would be like, oh, like, yeah, like, someone else approves. Like, it's always nice when other people approve of what you approve of, because, I don't know, we always, as humans, subconsciously have this want to be confirmed by others to a certain extent. So it's nice. And at the same time, for Ben, it's like, oh, hell yeah, I feel good about myself now. So yeah, it's always like a, a good thing to do. Like whenever you're in public, I know it's hard right now with the masks and all, but hey, who knows? Give someone a compliment their mask. Maybe they put a lot of effort into choosing the right mask. So yeah. Wow. For real? Yeah. Damn. I pulled a G. Yeah. See that full glasses? Yeah. That thing's <laughs> mm -hmm. But I love LA just because like, I, I don't know, I like like the city and like, like chaotic and like, and OC is too nice and like, <laughs> I cannot be there. And it's expensive. Well, Actually, OC is so expensive. Can I have your number? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, smooth. That was very abrupt, me, uh, but that's smooth. Get some food and skate. Yeah, and then when I drop in, here, you can put your... Uh... I'm gonna give you a fake number. No <laughs> move. <laughs> what? I put a little... Um... <laughs> okay, yes, you put a picture. Thank God. Are you gonna text him? Are you gonna wait for him to text you? Uh, I would usually just wait for him to text me. Yeah. Cause I already texted him hi, so yeah. like it's his turn to type. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> well, cause like I don't want. I already sent. I said hi, so he would have my yeah. number. Yeah. So like I want to double, and I sent my name. That'd be triple texting. All I'm saying is like in any relationship, there needs to be reciprocation, yeah. for it to be respectful for two people to really show that they like each other. Doesn't even have to be in terms of dating, mm -hmm. just in terms of friends. There needs to be reciprocation, just to, in terms of respect to show that two people are on the same level. When you hang out with guys, do they put in that much effort to show, yo, we're hanging out again? Not really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, usually, yeah, pretty much actually every person I hang out from Tinder, we hang out once and then we never hang out again. Like, I, I don't think I've hung out with yeah. anyone. Like, but do you see what like, I'm saying, Tiana? Yeah. Like, you, you just said every single person you've ever hung out from Tinder, you hang out once and you never hang out again. Yeah. You know what I'm, do you, yeah, do you understand so like, what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, no one really like would say like in, like while we're hanging out, like talk about the next time. So like, yeah. that's why like we would just never hang yeah. out again. But. So not even as like, this isn't like strategy or anything. This is like everything that I talk about is just coming from a place of like respect for other people and like building relationships off of that. And if you could do anything, I highly suggest that you just give him like a text like yo it was really cool hanging out today i can't wait to hang out again go yeah. skating or something like that so I should you say should say first. that you okay, should yeah, do that maybe. Mm -hmm. since he's the one i had to do something i guess yeah. <laughs> all right how about this can you draft it right now yeah and put it right on yeah or you, you could send it right now if you want i don't care uh okay mm, okay well I mean, I just want to interrupt real quick because that's so true. That is so, so true. Like for me, especially like I have this weird problem where whenever I talk to someone, like I'm, I'm like, I always use this analogy of like, I'm like the fuel for the fire, but I can't like ignite that fire that good. Like I can do it if I like put in the effort in and stuff. And like, I do do that if the, the grill is like worth it and I see like it's a reciprocation kind of thing. But like, I really need that reciprocation. I think a lot of people do because like, or else it's like, does this person really care about me? Does this person really want to talk to me? And like, that's this, 
this weird feeling and like you really want to kind of avoid that at all costs so yeah i totally agree with anthony here like you just gotta like get that reciprocation going right you know like if someone says something then you say something and if then if you bring up a topic maybe like the other person like if they're actually interested they will try to like at least like take apart what you said and like maybe try to create a topic from that that's what i usually do because i can't like bring up topics but i can like take what you said and then ask questions about that because i'm interested in you yeah so reciprocation very important very good very good very good very good i'll be like uh uh wait i'm just gonna i don't know if this is actually what i'm saying it was fun hanging out uh, i'm so bad at crafting best, text messages no everybody <laughs> is the best thing about this is like literally everybody in the world has this problem i'm i'm so bad that's why i don't text anybody like i literally do not text because i yeah. i overthink if i see something that looks stupid <laughs> i'm gonna tell you it looks stupid. okay yeah all yeah, right do that. if i think it looks good i'll tell you it looks good okay all right yeah. now go try again uh okay it, it was fun hanging today uh Wait, okay, it was, <laughs> I'm like overthinking everything. Okay, it was fun hanging today. Uh, let me know when you want to skate or like, I don't know. Wait, wait, what should I say? That's fine. It was fun hanging today. Is that, uh, it was fun hanging today. That's just how I All right, talk. I would <laughs> say, I would say it's awesome except I would take away the haha. -ha. <laughs> I always say that because I don't. Oh, I feel like it was an interesting experience, and also because it was literally my first day ever. Are you excited to see him again? Tell me the truth. Don't yeah. Just, don't just lie for the camera. Tell me the truth. No, yeah, I am. Like, I yeah. think it'll be fun to skate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. So you said it was fun hanging today. Let me know when you want to skate. I'm always down. That's perfect. Okay. Yo, that's dope. Let me. I um, never send the first text. If he doesn't respond to that, you know, okay, I get it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But if he responds and he's like, yes, totally. It's like, okay, I get yeah, it. Yeah, so It's know. a small little ping to him to just see how he's feeling, like mm -hmm. test the waters. And that's all I want women to do. Like, I just want yeah. women to just like put, take a little bit of the lead so they could take control of the situation. Yo, so how you feeling, dude? Oh, uh, yeah. She just texted me, but she said, uh, let's see what she said. It was fun hanging today. Let me know when you want to go skate. I'm always down. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Yeah, personally, I normally don't text right after the uh, first date and let them create that narrative in their head. Yeah. But, <laughs> like, we've already had the date. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now it kind of screwed up your flow, though. So now what do you do? You respond. You engage. You engage. Yeah. You keep it short. What are you going to say? Mm. Am, I, am I allowed to see? I mean, yeah, you can see if you want. <laughs> don't hang with me. I'm going to escape. I'm always down. Like, I want to let her know, like, like I want to, like, set some sort of expectations and not be like, I'll hit you up, you know what I mean? But, nice, dude. You want to see it for the cam? There's YouTube studios right behind me. I tried to get in. They're not letting me in. I was like, hey, could I film on the premises? They're like, you can't film on the pre I was like, it's a YouTube video. They're like, sorry, that's against the law. So it's been a good week since the day and honestly, I don't know what's going on. I texted Tiana a few times about whether they got together and she What? <laughs> You're filming a YouTube video with, I mean, this guy has like fucking 160,000 subscribers. I mean, then again, I guess there's like millions of YouTubers, but like, wh what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> That doesn't make sense. I mean, then again, like, imagine, like, every single YouTuber, big or small, would go to the YouTube studio and be like, hey, can I film here? <laughs> like, it would be fucking chaos. So I kind of get it, but, eh, I don't know. Other, and she really didn't give me a lot. He texted her. She hasn't really texted him back. She doesn't know if she's able to hang out with him, and it's kind of just a big mess right now. And I'm kind of confused about where everything's at. Anyway, I think it'd be fun if we got Tiana on, ask her some questions about how it's going between her and Ben. Will they ever hang out? Did they hang out yet? I have no idea. All right, I gotta go. I think YouTube's about to kick me off their goddamn property. Find out, uh, uh, find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. No, but like, yeah, this was fun. This was a, a good video. Uh, I think Anthony really has some very valuable insight to give. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to it. I did what I could. <laughs> uh, yeah.
I know. I thought it was really was really interesting. And he said a lot of very interesting things, a lot of very cool tips and tricks for people to to think about maybe and maybe change some stuff the way they date and stuff. Yeah, I know. It was good. It was fun. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, maybe leave a like. Maybe subscribe. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm currently working on an idea for a video. I want to do uh, like a B-roll kind of like seamless transition like this thing I posted recently. 37 seconds video, whatever. I want to do that, but like on a larger scale. But it's kind of tough right now because right now in Belgium, the Corona measures are getting like more and more tough like constantly. So it's really tough to kind of make plans for videos and stuff. But yeah, I have this ID and I'm gonna do it, so look forward to that. I don't know when it's gonna drop, but it will drop. For sure, I'm doing that. I've been telling I'm doing it, so I'm gonna do it. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like. If not, leave a dislike, <laughs> leave a comment. Tell, let me know what I can do better next time. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you guys next time.